So, um, is that kind of like bypassing what you just explained? More Beyond or bypassing, it's not even the metaphors you would hear, such as letting go okay. or letting God in all these colorful phrases. What it truly is, is bring it on, let's go. I can let go. I can let go and let go and let go and let go and let go. Or I can be done with it and move on. And not have to let go at all and just bypass that and be done. We're bypassing the long linear uh, journey and playing with the time continuum and the perception of time. This says one unfoldment after another unfoldment after another unfoldment after another unfoldment, then I'll be free. One letting go, one issue, another issue, another issue, another issue, another issue that I can promise are never going to end. <laughs> then you're going to be free. Because now that I dealt with anger, now I feel resentful. Now I deal with the resentful, now I feel guilty. I feel guilty for not carrying on to the resentment and the anger. But wait, I'm done with that. Let's do the old. All right. <laughs> because now, as we're going there, can you feel what's going on in your lower lobe of vertebrae right, right now at a root level? Can you feel the energy moving up through your central nervous system, up into your brain chemistry, where you're beginning to let yourself come back to the forefront, and also beginning to let your body vehicle go through many activations in your central nervous system, going into an unlocking state to allow for yourself to be able to move forward again, allowing for yourself to come to the forefront again, allowing for yourself to begin getting to let yourself be re-exposed. It's becoming unattached to anything. Exactly, because I mean, that's what that, that means to me. Well, what is unattached to me? Well, we're, we're I mean, attached yeah. is being a prisoner of who we are and well, our emotional beliefs and patterns. But when we are unattached to them, then we can move in a, in a different space and time. But there's only truly one attachment. Okay. There's truly only one fear. Okay. The fear of death. Whether it's the body, whether it's the who I am scenario, the individualized state, whether it's the belonging, it's still the same core. Not about losing your body. At times, it's losing the mind's control, the power over the world, the world's power over me, which is still death. There's a little death. There's a physical death. But then the biggest death is the death of remembering who I am. It's a daily repetition. So if I have no control, which I certainly don't want that. I mean, how what a big rock could that be pushing up a mountain? Even over the physical, the physical's appearance. I have to have control to let it present this way, that way, or the other way. Rather than giving it back its own power. Body, take care of it. Thank you. Body is time to trash pounds. Thank you. Body is time to regenerate yourself. Thank you. Body is time to rebuild yourself. Thank you. But I'm not looking as, as an examination state inside the mirror. The body's presenting, hey, dear brother, would you like this? Would you like that? Would you like that? Now it's becoming my friend, but also my conduit. Because now, if the body drops, <laughs> all right, not a big to do, let's move on, right? Like when I've shared so much about in the wheelchair scenarios, at that seven day, different times, the brain chemistry dissolving, blindness, and all this fun stuff. The body had no power. None of it had power. It was the dissolvement, dissolution of the power to let it take back its own power. It was all the overlays from what I came into it. But then what if there, there's also no control in the outside world? Whether it be the physical appearances, whether it be the work, whether it be this, whether it be that, whether it be the belongings, it's still a sentence. Because I don't, uh, I'm not owned by bills. I own the home. My bride and I do. We have a blast with it. But not from an owning of dominance, from a brotherhood of camaraderie. <clears throat> See, that's the beauty. But now there's no death. If the home was gone, great. There's always Red Rock Canyon. My baby doll. <laughs> <laughs> if the car and vehicle is gone, great. There's a place we push to If everything else was gone, our kids were gone, we'd play with them from other realms. Because we're not dictated and confined to this realm to have to work for all of this. As a matter of fact, we're coming from all of this to down to here from a vibratory standpoint, but also playing with it so much more. Because now this whole world opens up where you can have a blast with it. <coughs>